Hello, in this particular video, I will show you how to create a seasonal index and then using a seasonal index to de seasonalize your data set. So, a seasonal index uh, is nothing but a kind of a way to figure out how a given season is above or beyond the val the average value of all the uh, seasons in a cycle so to do that there are a couple of things to, to 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 remember first thing the average of all seasons uh, is equal to 1 and if i add all the indices it should equal to m which is the seasonality of your data set so in this particular video i'm going to demonstrate on how to a, a compute a seasonal index uh, for this uh, data set called Coke Coca-Cola sales data set. So this data set is a quarterly sales data of Coca-Cola from 1986 to 1996 second quarter. So to do that, the first thing we have to do is to create a centered moving average of span M. So, uh, in this case, uh, our span uh, M is a quarter, uh, so we have M is equal to 4, because there are 4 quarters in a year. And so the first thing we will do is to create a centered moving average. To do so, I'm going to write a moving average centered, and it is 4. Now, the, the thing is, uh, as the four is an even number window. Uh, we cannot just, and we are creating a centered moving average. Uh, we cannot really uh, directly use a formula because there are some overlapping, uh, uh, over overlapping windows. So for doing that, we will start with the third, uh, third observation because we cannot really compute a centered moving average for the first and the second given that we have um, a, a window of four, and there are four over, uh, two overlapping windows. The first, uh, the, the first four observations and the second four observations. And that will give us the centered moving average starting from quarter three, 1986. So to do that, I'm going to take, uh, create, a, do a formula where it will be average, of uh, the first four values and then average of the second four values. Then I will just add them, both values together, and then I'll divide it by two. So this is the formula of uh, computing a centered moving average when you have even number window. So in this case, it, it, it is obviously four is an even number. And so we compute this for, for all the observation. So what I will do is I will just double click on the side and that will compute the values for all the observations. Now, just to make a point, um, uh, we, we actually have observations until B43, uh, B43. Uh, so uh, up up to uh, quarter 495, our formulas are correct. But after that, uh, in order to compute uh, quarter 196 centered moving average, we need values for B44. Unfortunately, we do not have values for B44. So therefore, uh, same thing will go with quarter 296. Therefore, we were going to remove those last two observation uh, values of centered moving average because we do not have all the values to compute the index. The next uh, is to create a, a raw seasonality. So I'm going to, uh, and raw seasonality is nothing but uh, the ratio between your centered moving average and the observation. So it is nothing but, uh, it will be uh, the sales, the actual observation, the Y, divide by the centered moving average. 
So what we are doing is we are dividing the observation with the centered moving average for that particular row. So these are our values. Okay, and obviously the last two values are blank because we do not we do not have values for those uh, uh, those two quarters. The next will be to create S of J, which is nothing but the average of raw seasonalities uh, for that particular season. In other words, we're going to uh, since this cell, uh, this particular cell E4, is uh, belongs to quarter three. I am going to uh, go and average all the values, average all the values uh, of index for for quarter three. So that will be 1.18, then quarter 387, then quarter 388, then quarter 389, then quarter 390, then quarter 391, quarter 392, quarter 393, quarter 394, and then um, quarter 395 and that's what we have okay so that so that's what we have so we're going to just uh, average of all these values and that is our uh, value for the particular quarter 39 uh, quarter 3 s of j similarly i can then just drag and then take the next four values and we will get all the values we need to capture uh, so these are nothing but the raw seasonality uh, for season j in this case uh, the first number belongs to season quarter three the fourth the second number belongs to quarter four the third one belongs to quarter one and the fourth one belongs to quarter two just make a note that our observation ends with 41 so any ob any any formulas that be that has more than 41 now obviously those we don't have we have blanks for those values but just for the sake of you know correctness we want to kind of remove those cells where we do not have values obviously it's not going to change anything but um, but for demonstration purposes we should have that now the last thing is to create our seasonal index now to do that we have to kind of rebalance our s of j so that the sum of those four values should be equal to m in this case m is 4 given that uh, we have four uh, four quarters in a particular year so it is 4 so what we will do is i'm going to create the, uh, the uh, one more column saying seasonal index and therefore uh, after that i'm going to take each observation divide by uh, divide by the sum, uh, sum which is 4.00301. Uh, what I will do is I'll just hard code that particular cell, which is E8, E8, and uh, sorry, uh, E8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, and then times four. Okay. In that case, now the observations will not change a whole lot. But when we do that, it, it really changes a bit, maybe uh, near the third or fourth decimal point. But when we add them, it ultimately comes to four, which is what we want. It should be equal to M. So uh, therefore, uh, uh, this is how you calculate your seasonal index. So these are our four seasonal indices uh, for this particular data set. To interpret these, um, for example, this 1.06433, is the seasonal index for quarter three. Quarter three is obviously the month of July, August, September in a year. And these are hot seasons. And what 1.064 means is the sales for those three months is 6.4% more than the sales throughout the year. Similarly, quarter four, uh, which is October, November, and December, it looks like the sales of Coke was 4% lower than the average sales throughout the year. Similarly, quarter one, which is January, February, March, 
looks like it's 13 percent lower than the average to do that i'm just uh, finding the difference between 1 minus 0.8788 so it's roughly 13 percent it's typically 12.12 percent lower than the average similarly um, quarter two sales is, is 9.6 percent more than the annual average of coke sales now after we create this seasonal index the last thing will be to de-seasonalize your data set um, these so what i'm going to create is i'm going to just uh, create another column and to do that i'm going to now for each observation i'm going to divide it by its seasonal index so this is our quarter one so therefore it will be b to divide by uh, our quarter one is a quarter one value uh, is obviously 0.8788 okay so that is our quarter one value similarly our next value is uh, b2 which is uh, in, in, in your second quarter value in the cell of b3 divide by uh, our, our quarter two seasonality is in 1.096 um, similarly, we will do quarter three, uh, which will be this, divide by uh, 1.064. Uh, then quarter four will match up. Similarly, we can go on doing this. And whatever column we get, this is a de-seasonalized data set. Uh, thank you for watching this particular video.